Hello everyone, this is Gorax. Today I'll try to do Grave of Venom level 4. There is a very util very much utilized strategy going around and everyone does it, so basically let me explain it in my video because I'm using a little bit different heroes than most. So what we want to do here is see this uh, poison element here. It deals the poison damage to enemy with lowest HP. So we need to ensure our hero that is here, preferably a healer of any sort. And people who have, who have been have been using uh, different heroes, like even common ones that have, provide a single heal like Meredith. We want to ensure that the total HP of this hero here is the lowest between the whole team. So that's why an underleveled hero that can survive long enough is good enough. Then we want our tank. Our tank is the crucial point here and should have the, the highest defense we can do. We should wear a set that provides it as well. Obviously, we can upgrade everything, but on this account, I'm playing as a free-to-play player. Okay, so I don't have everything and I need to use what I have. Then we got our main character, which should be actually in the frost ice uh, element to provide additional shield to keep Horus alive as possible because Horus uh, will be one of the f will be the main target that's getting targeted by the deadly harpy and will be getting a lot of damage and if he falls the team crumbles that's important then we got Hexandra who will provide this AoE heal with Anna. Okay, so this should keep our our horrors alive. Although, if you have someone better than Anna here, a better single target, then yes, definitely get that hero. Now, the last spot is our main damage dealer that will not receive any damage. So we can go ham on the damage. And I'm using Eli because he is the strongest one I got. So Eli benefits from enlightenment when the uh, when the target has poison. He does uh, increase derivative damage. Okay, so that's important, and he does AOE damage as well. So hopefully this team will be able to beat it. If not, then we just need to increase level of our characters a little bit because that should work. Well, let's start. Always check your buffs before we start. So what you want? You want defense buff here. Sadly, I don't have any good food, but let's see if I can do it without that. Uh, optionally, you can cook something good. There are guides with uh, the cooking stuff available. Uh, so make sure you use it uh, and follow the recipe and let's beat it. I'm also using all HP increase here from Horus to make sure he stays alive. Well, the whole team stays alive as long as possible. So let's start. Okay, so I'll play it in auto. Obviously, you can manually adjust things around to ensure you survive long enough. So as you can see, everything targets Horus. Our Anna is doing good. She can recover herself. Uh, we're getting some damage here on our main character, but it's neglected. We got so much sustain here. Uh, although, preferably, we don't want to get any damage down here. To ensure we uh, get Horus healed up but at this level Horus is doing quite good there shouldn't be any issues and I just wished that the developers gave us an option to get four star a uh, four speed battle progression because that will be beneficial for everyone so yeah we don't need any dispels here and we should just focus on uh, Defense and HP in that battle. We just need to survive. We got four well, we got over five minutes to do it, and we are halfway through and still got three minutes left. As we can see, uh, our traveler is a little bit struggling with his HP. He should actually get a good uh, equipment. Uh, right now, I have like uh, damage equipment in him, but if I fail, I can adjust it. And don't worry if you fail, it's trial of error basically you will find this sweet spot. And as I said before, Anna is not the greatest healer here. We would be better using something else. Oh, Horus is really close to dying here. Uh, 
we just need a little bit more healing and a shield to top him up. And this is why the single target heals here are way better than Anna. So if you really struggle, you can use like Meredith at really low level, maybe like 50. And she will help you survive uh, long enough to keep Horus alive. So yeah, come on. Now we got a shield, we got a heal, we top him up. We're slowly going there. The damage wise, uh, obviously a single target damage dealer will be better than Eli. But he is what I got. He's the he's all I got, and yeah. Um, obviously, optimize your gear. I didn't optimize my gear here, so I'm just going to row in. And as you can see, my summoner has died, but the fight is finished now with Eli casting ultimate. Um, so yeah, there it is. Level four cleared, and we unlock our first epic equipment we can craft it now with how far we progressed in the campaign and yeah this is pretty much it i'll work on uh venom 5 as well to keep you guys updated so make sure you follow my channel and you'll be able to see it very soon thank you for watching stay safe bye